nongeye gusuhuza abo ntashuhuje kare imani baho mugisha imani guho mugisha uri umushitsi turakwishimiye wihitiraga nuza gushima gukomeza kubana natwe uhagume if you're a visitor and you're just passing by, uh, uh, but you might also decide to stay with us, you're welcome. No, Bishima. If you're pleased to stay with us. Neighbor, uh, ufita handu senjera. If you have another church. Nabuza wa dusuhurize. Please pass our greetings to them. Nukujambo rijima na ridusabu. That's what the word of God requires of us. Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Jesus. Aba shisina wa sangu wa reomu sanze tujiye kuri parti ya kabiri yechi jisho chivuga kuri Yosefu umungana wa Yakobo umungaragu wa imana. So visitors and members of the church, uh, we are now going to part two of Joseph, uh, the son, uh, the servant of God. And our theme is the good hand of God on your life. The good hand of God on your life. So that no one might forget, please remind your brethren the good hand of God on your life. Because the desire of God is for us to see the good hand of God on our lives. That's the desire of God. Never doubted about that. They are the ways it Ariko goes through. But God wants his good hand to be with you. And then you see the benefit of that. You see what comes out of that. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. So what have we seen last time? We saw that Joseph, the son of Jacob, he was a good person. But he was born and grew up with wicked people. Among his brothers, there were wicked people and they hated him. And the reason why they hated Papa him was because he was favored by his father. But his father loved him because he was just a good boy. And also they hated him because of his dreams. Because he had dreams of leading them one day. And they wouldn't be happy with that. They didn't like that. And they planned a purpose to do evil against him. We saw that even though he was hated by his brothers, he used to do good to them. And he was always ready to be used by his father. And, by his father. and what we emphasized on last time was saying, How ready are you to be sent by your heavenly father, even though there might be things that are bitter? Because the good hand of God is on you, it is not only, only in good times, it is also there in bad times. We have seen that walking with wicked people, it's bad. We saw that Joseph, even though he knew that they were wicked, he decided not to imitate their behaviors, but he would rather report it to his father. We saw that his father does not only represent the biological father. We saw that everything that looks wrong and all the bad habits of people we should report them to heaven and also separate from them so that the good hand of the Lord might continue to be with you. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. So we saw that Joseph he went through all that and peacefully. The good hand of the Lord it was with him even though they didn't love him but he was walking with God. So our desire today, uh, the whole month, we are going to uh, study deeply about the good hand of the Lord in our lives. Why this, did this teaching come on my heart? It's because sometimes we go through difficult things. I might think that the good hand of the Lord has departed from us. Oh, yeah. 
No, it isn't. Oh, yeah. It's not the case. Kwimana, the good hand of God is always with us. Except if you want your way. That means a way that is uh, opposite or contrary to God. So my desire and I'm encouraging you Joseph to listen once again. Again. We are not studying or learning about Joseph as a person. But we are going to look at the journey of Joseph and the spirit of God that was at work in Joseph. Because the word of God doesn't tell us to imitate people. We imitate or work with the Holy Spirit that has led people. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Jesus. Every time we mention the names of those who have worked with, with God, we are appreciating the spirit of God that has worked with them. And we also rebuke or do not appreciate any Thing that that so my desire is that we might walk together. Because I would like you and I to see the good hand of God in our lives. In these days, I want us to see the good hand of God on our lives. Genesis 37. Uh, let us go to the book of Genesis, chapter 37. And uh, the purpose of this is for you to know that the good hand of God is with you. And that you might see the fruit from the good hand of God on your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, we'll resume from where we stopped last time. Bene se wa Yosefu ba mungitejera achiri kuri ba mujira inama yoku mungicha ataraba jira hafi bara vuga na wati dore karo osi araj nuko ni muzi tu mungich tu mujugu ni murgo borumwe muri ziza chukuri we kubi kamaz tu za vuga tuti inyama skwa inhazi yara muri ma zetu za mnyia inzozize ukozizawa. I will read from verse 18 to 20. The Bible says, Now when they saw him afar off, even before he came near them, they conspired against him to kill him. Then they say to one another, Look, this dreamer is coming. Come therefore, let us now kill him and cast him into some pit, and we shall see some wild beast have de has devoured him. We shall see what will become of his dreams. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. What do we learn here? A dream that comes from God, it can never be destroyed. Or a dream that you had that comes from God, nothing can ever swallow it. Let us uh, do a recap. Joseph had a dream. I want to remind you that the dream that Joseph had, it was not any simple dream. It was some kind of vision of what he was going to become. Has God ever told you what he wants you to become? If you're born again, has God ever revealed to you what he wants you to become? If some, that has never happened to you, it's okay. But let me tell you, do your best and try to find out what God is saying about you. I plead with you in the name of Jesus. Those who are here and those who are far, those who are following us, seek to know what God is saying on your life. From today on, he has given you salvation. And he has washed you of your sins. He has forgiven you of your bad habits. And you have begun a journey with him. This is for those who are saved. What did he tell you about what was going to happen? Why are you here? Why are you alive? What are the kinds of problems you saw in your family? 
What are the problems you solve at your school? Why are you there? What are you there to do? What is the purpose of your life? It is for you to seek God. It is not something that God said to Joseph. But everyone who is born again and who has had a journey with Jesus, they need to know what is the purpose of God on their lives. They need to know what is the plan of God on their lives. I'm encouraging you to find out what is the plan of God in your life. It is your right to know, not just to be told by others. But it's possible that God might channel it through people to confirm what he has told you already. Here, this lesson aims at telling you, for you to find out the reason why God has called you. We have lessons here that aim to help you to find out the purpose of your life. So stop living in disorder. Live with a purpose. Know where you're aiming at. Know what you're up to. So now Joseph had a dream. His dream it was about what he was going to become. Even his father who loved him he said, hey, oh, now you're going up there. So, so, so now you think that your brothers, your father and your mother were all going to bow to you. Let me ask Joseph you a question. Was Joseph lying? Hallelujah. Joseph he, wasn't. he wasn't lying. Joseph was in line. Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Jesus. So now here, the passage you have read, the jealousy among his brothers, they, it caused him to, them to become a tool of the devil. I want to tell you that the enemy of the children of God is not any other person. The enemy of the children of God is the devil because he hates God. Uh, the devil fights against you because he knows what you're carrying and what you're carrying is from his enemy God. The devil doesn't let you be at peace because he knows very well who you are. He knows what you are even though you might not know that. And his desire is for him to hurt the one you're serving. He wants to show God that his plans for this person are never going to come to fulfill That's how the devil operates. From the garden of Eden up to today, that's how he has always been. He is the enemy of God. He's always against God. And for that, he fights against the people of God. He fights against the prosperity of God. Who knows that? So your enemy is not a human being. It's not human beings. It's not, you, you know, the generational curses. It's not what comes on the top there. The devil might go through that, but he's fighting against God who is in your life. Now, he saw Joseph. He saw what God was saying about Joseph. Joseph said it and it was true. It was real. Now, his brothers, they, uh, they were not happy with that. I want to tell you. Because God and the devil are two powers. But at the same time, I would like to remind you that the power of God is way, way above than the power of the devil. Never even compare that. It should never happen to you to compare the devil with God. Because God is way powerful than the devil. But what we know is that the devil fights against God. So now the devil attacked the dream that Joseph had. He attacked Joseph. I want to reveal to you this. The devil always have people to use. Do you agree with me? 
Bibiri bambwe ngo satani ni umwuka mu bukorera batumvira imana ukorera mu batumvira imana. The Bible says that the devil is a spirit that works in the sons of rebellion or the disobedience. ba Yosefu batakundaga imana batanayitinyaga. Because the brothers of Joseph didn't love God and they didn't fear God. Ni bo nyine yakoresheje. They are the ones he has used. Hari cyo byumviseho? Does it mean something to you? The word of God tells me Even God looks for people he can use The word of God tells me in Isaiah 42 The Bible says that I'm the one who calls a bird from far That is the man who will come and fulfill my will My desires you know, I call people to accomplish my plans. You know, God is inviting you to accomplish his plans. But at the same time, the devil is there to fight against the plans of God. You know, the devil uses people so that they can be instrument tools for in the plans of God. But the the good hand of God that causes to be saved, it won't allow the plans of God to come to fulfillment. You know, every time you know what God has said about you, whether it goes this side or the other side, whether it goes up or down, I tell you in the name of Jesus that the plan of God will come to be. And even the devil knows that. The plan of God will always come to fulfillment. Don't be afraid for your life. Just stand and fight for your calling, the calling on your life. The devil always has plans and reasons to, to, to kill that calling. Sometimes he thinks that he has destroyed us and he goes out boasting that they are done. They took that rope with blood and the one presented it to the father. And they made up a story of how they were going to tell the father that his son was dead. Do you see that the devil made up a story of how what you are is going to die? He made up things. He made up things. And then he found uh, evidence. But remember that first of all he got people to do that. Friend, beloved, I plead with you in the name of Jesus. Never be an instrument to cause the plans of God to be uh, fulfilled. Be the, the tool to build the kingdom of God. Be the tool to build the, of God. be the tool to build the plans of God in other people's lives. Amen. Amen. You know, when you read, you find that Reuben was against and Judah, but it wasn't because they, they feared to destroy that dream, it's because they feared their father. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Say, let us kill him. And we'll see how his dreams will come to be. Has the devil ever played on you? He wants to show people that nothing will ever happen to him. I'm telling you, I'm speaking about you. That's the reason why you are the one who has to know what God is saying. Know the, what God is saying on your life. You need to know who you are. Know why you're here, what you're here to do. Say, what are the what are the stone you are? Praise be to Jesus. Otherwise, the devil to be angry against God, he used the brethren of Joseph and say, let us see what will become of his dreams. But the good hand of God that was on Joseph didn't let their plans be uh, fulfilled. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to you. Yes, 
tuzashimwe praise be to jesus we kwibona uri kugitanda kwa muganga ngo utangire uvuge ngo yebaba we ngo ibyo imana yambwiye byose uziko birangiye don't see yourself lying on a hospital bed and start thinking that this is the end of everything god has told you please get to know first what god has spoken to you first what god has spoken to you uzemera ibintu byose satana kuzana because if you don't know what god has spoken about you you accept everything the devil has told you anyone who listens we kwemera ibintu byose satana guha do not accept everything the devil throws at you yes ashimwe cyane praise be to jesus ariko baratsinzwe but they were defeated ijambo ry'imana rimbwira ngo iki the word of god tells me yobo gatano 12 in job chapter 5 verse 12 yici migambi yincakura kugira ngo zidasohoza emirimo yazo Uh, the bible says that he frustrated the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot carry out their plans you need to know that god who frustrated the plans of the devil on your life you pray and say god frustrated the plans of the devil on my life so that he might not fulfill his plan against me that's why when you pray you need to frustrate the plans of the devil because they ma- before the materialize you need not to wait till it materializes you need to frustrate his plans in the name of jesus before they come to be never accept that never accept that so what i'm saying you know who you are you know what god has the reason why god gave you salvation why should you allow to be a ball that is cast here and there yes ashim praise be to that jesus i want to tell you that's the reason why you need to fight and serve god do you know why you need to serve god i said it earlier God knows the investment he has placed in the people who are going to receive many. And when we say many it's other people more than you. Not just you. And that's why God wasn't listening to the stories of Jonah. Someone who is selfish. Who wants to fight for their lives. When God is looking at the whole city of Nineveh. God said we are not together in this. you're just selfish looking at your own inner interest you're, you're crying because you are going to say they are going to say this, going to pray. Pray. i want to tell you who you are God doesn't work with the selfish person and he said to Jonah say my heart is there in the city of Nineveh those are the people I'm minding now you know that God delivered him out of that uh, fish because of so many people you always need to align with God's side say amen amen, amen. the good hand of God on your life it will protect the plan of God on your life second point Joseph arindirwa mu nzu y'uburetwa. Joseph he was kept in that house of slavery. Ndagira ngo nkwereke wagiye mu nzu y'uburetwa. I want to tell you when you're in the house of slavery. Ndagira ngo nkwereke wageze mu bintu by'ubucakara kabisa bikubabaje. I want to tell you when you're in that slavery in those things that are oppressing you for real. Has it ever happened to you? Kuba hantu ubucakara. Being in a place of oppression and slavery. You're a child of God. Ari kuraniha. But you're groaning. Uh-huh. You're going through situations that make you grow. And when you try to look at different sides, you can't understand why things like that are happening. Remember that when Joseph went to Potiphar, it wasn't his choice. Or it wasn't even the consequences of his sin. It wasn't consequences of the sins he had done. I can say that those are things of the world <inaudible> the consequences <inaudible> of you know there are things that are in your life just because the world is wicked 
The things that are in your life not because you sin. The things that happen to you not because you are evil than others. But I want you to identify all those things that are in your life not as a result of your own sins. Are we still together? Have you identified those things? Have you identified those things? Now those things therefore they have uh, those things that you find yourself in and they are not the result of what you have done you know those things are not the consequence of your actions because if they are the consequences of your actions God will tell you deal with this and then I'm coming to your rescue that's how it is day after day he cleanses us day after day he washes us but if there is a situation you're in and you don't know where you came from the word of God tells me that those ones are situations of God. that situation will speak about God oh, aren't you happy? you don't know how you're looking <laughs> sometimes I wonder do they understand this you know there are things that are going to speak about the glory of God in your life there are things that happen to you and not as a result of your actions things that you didn't contribute to and that you're not happy with because you see that those things are not bringing glory to God praise be to Jesus one day those things will glorify the most high that's what Jesus Jesus saying, say this one is not because his father or mother sinned for him to be born blind but these things are there to glorify God Amen. there are things that are in your life that will glorify God I plead with you in the name of Jesus move with the spirit so that where there are bitter sour things sweet things will come out of it hallelujah Hallelujah. Yes, Praise be to Rekimani Jesus. May God give you a testimony. Rekimani May God create for you thanksgiving. In the house of Potiphar. God is where you are. Let us agree on this beloved. There is one thing I love. God lives in you. He walks in you. He sleeps in you. I don't know the reason why you think that you might be somewhere else. If you have found yourself in slavery in the house of oppression, all of that thing, never think that God is far from you that is not with you stand and he will show you how he's going to be with you in those yes, things praise be to Jesus I wish you can believe that today say oh oh God is here and yet I didn't know that he is here he is here he is here in Potiphar's house the guy is coming from a pig but the good hand of God was still working with him the good hand of God was in the pit oh, you don't understand that the good hand of God was in that pit with Joseph it was with the lions when Daniel was in a den stop being afraid and shaking my things coming to you just look at the good hand of God that is with you when he got to Potiphar's house he started seeing signs and wonders now say signs and wonders hallelujah the good hand of God took him to Potiphar's house Josephu. Joseph, let us read that. Oh, hallelujah. Amen. The word of God is so sweet. It is so sweet. And sometimes you ask yourself how God had a treatment. Uh, Genesis 39, 2 to 6. Genesis 39, 2 to 6. Read every word reflecting on it. Usubiremo. Utuwiteka bakumwe na Yosefu. Agira ukuboko kwiza. Aba munzu yashebuje umunyegiputa. 
shebuja bona yuko witeka ari kumwe nawe kandi kuwiteka yamuhaye kugira ukuboko kwiza kucyakoze cyose kukinta koze Yosefa mugira ho umugisha abari wakorera ubwe amugira igisonga cy'urugo rwe rwose amubitsi bya tunze uhereye vuga cyane utuhereye ico gihe bwira mugenzi wawe utuhereye ico gihe yamugize igisonga cy'urugo rwe niki bintu bye byose kuva uwo munsi Uwiteka ho umugisha urugo rw'uwo munyagiputa kubwa Yosefa. Umugisha ho uwiteka uba kubya tunze byose. Ibyo mu rugo rwe nibyo mu murima nibyo mu gasoze. Abitsa Yosefa ibyo tunze byose. Mu bya mubikije ni hagira ikinda za gukontrola. Keretse kwita kubyo yagaragira baka tubwira rero ngo Yosefu yari namwiza di en plus ariko muri baza kugira ngo bibiliya yongere ngo Yosefu yari mwiza afere y'umugore nti tuyivuga ariko urumva yuko ushobora kuba mwiza kandi ukorera imana Joseph was handsome and he was so you hagire wash yourself yeah you hagire uke wash yourself ntabwo imana ishaka abantu babanyamwanda God as and wants people who are dirty no kugenda na imana harimo gucya you know even in walking with God you have to be clean Harimo gucya. Every is being clean. Uki you hagira uki hezuru gasa neza. You know you wash yourself and you look good. Muri bice yabyawe. In the little you have. Yeah, tujye yes. tuzongera muri bice byawe. We need to add that in the little you Nima have. Niba waragira ubuntu bwo kugira byinshi. If you are blessed to have many. Yes, have praise be to Jesus. Ariko birashoboka gukorera Imana ufite akaboko k'Imana kandi uri na mwiza. But it's possible to serve God with the good hand of God Icho on you. Rwanda ntabwo tukivuga. In Rwanda we don't like to talk Kuko about that. Kwirata. Because it's called boasting. <laughs> you know but you are beautiful ben and I can see that. Christ, you know someone one day in Christ they become S so beautiful I don't know if you have ever seen that oh, yeah. just look at the people who are saved look at them from the day they get saved I don't know if you have ever observed that but God will wash you inside and outside and you say oh Jesus you have done great things you need to observe that God makes people to become beautiful why did he have that written? he wants you to think you know in Jesus we don't have to be dirty you know being dirty you know turning things upside down you know, order, you know living in disorder in you may God help us Joseph in Potiphar's house Urabizi birashoboka kuba mwisi mbi ufite ukuboko kwiza kw'Imana. You know it's possible to live in a we called ndagira ngo cyo cyo kind of God in your life. I want you to Ura stay with that. Ku, kuba mwisi mbi irimo ubugome irimo ubutriganya ariko nokuru kuboko kw'Imana kukigaragaza kubuzima bwa. It's possible for you to live in a wicked world and yet the hand of God is manifested on your life. Abana b'Imana tujya tugira excuses zo kuvuga ngo iki cyananiranye iki cyananiranye ndakwinginga mbere yo kuvuga ngo ibyananiranye jubanze urebe niba tari wowe unaniranye. You know children of God sometimes we like to say this one is impossible this one it doesn't work you need to first look at yourself and see if you don't have anything to contribute to that. Mm -hmm. Why do I say this? Koko because when the good hand of God is on you you come out of the pit and you live in peace in Potiphar's house. Peter said, beloved, I plead with you to remember that your sojourners, therefore, because this world is not ours, uh, fight against the last of the 
of different ways that wages war against your souls good conducts among the unbelievers where so that on the day of visitation on the day of visitation they might know that they have lived with Christians praise be to Jesus may Joseph inspire you that you might live in a very uh, doing a very bad work or job and you can live in a bad group but still be upright there may Joseph be the example to show you that even when the, bad, uh, the good hand of God is with you you might live in any situation you know that that good Hallelujah. hand of God that was uh, on Joseph caused Potiphar to see that the hand of God has been with him and he had been prospering in everything he did yet Potiphar was an unbeliever I wish that God might see that when you're in that job things are changing because of you I wish you might deserve, desire that I you women and you men I wish that your husbands and wife might say that I have prospered because of this man because of this woman Benedad. beloved even though you might say that there are so many demons but strive to bring profit why not you not just because of you but there is something that goes with you do you agree with me? Do you accept that this is the word of God? I tell you the truth, you should strive for that. He says, from the time I got into that house, from the time I got into that job, the good hand of God on me, may it show the fruit of the hand of God on me. Amen. Amen. Never say that the demons I found in that house, they were more powerful than Probably I. Probably you are not lying there, there. But you know, the, the, the problem is those demons that you have you. The ones that are problematic are the ones that you have. Because when you shake off the ones that you have, you can be useful in the place where you are. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. It's possible. These things we are talking about. You know, never look at the place where you are only. I like to tell you that that is the reason why people are moving from one to another. Moving from one one school to another or changing from one church to another there is no love that they, they, say, oh, they didn't care for me they don't even know where they're coming from and where they're heading to that home you know things I fight with there you know someone telling another person do you know things I'm fighting against you know demons from seven generations they live there but let me tell you even if they come with their master if you are who you are you need to know who you have you need to know who you are and say, here I am. Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Jesus. And you're not there because Have it's just you. you. But be there because of who you Did are. You just for the one you have. Stand with the one you have. Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Jesus. And you see how things are going to change at all. You're going to transform them slowly. Instead of just moving. Change them. Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Mera Jesus. Yes, Clap for Jesus. Amen. Amen. I love the word that says that everything prospered in that house. I don't know how you are, but I like things that go forward. 
you know in your life everyone likes things that go forward but even when you come to the house of God, you need to love things that go forward you need to love that the department that you're heading moves forward love that the team that you're leading moves forward pray that you might see change pray that you might you might see five people in your team who are being transformed. Have the zeal to listen to new testimonies. Have that zeal and pray for that. Because it doesn't come from the thoughts only. It comes from a heart that is willing. A heart that is willing. A heart that is asking. A heart that prays for God. And praying and saying to God. Say God here I am. I'm still waiting. Please transform me. And transform me with those who are with me. Let us see everyday plunder. Let us get plunder. You know when we talk about plunder. Uh, we like to think only about those yes. people who are coming from uh, the world coming to salvation. That is something that causes great But I want to tell you that in church there are people who are not yet circumcised. It's not because we are saved that we have seen God immediately. Yes, it is good to celebrate the changes in your brethren's lives. It's good that you people who have difficult lives and lives have changed, you need to say that. Papa Gaston and Mama Angelique are on PP. Papa Gaston and Angelique have they have greeted me. Eh eh eh. You know those are the things that can cause me to be singing overnight because there are things that make me rejoice. Seeing people take good decisions. Seeing people change. Your eyes shouldn't cause you not to see the good hand of God where you are. Because Satan is trying to catch you. Because when the devil wants to destroy you, he shows you wrong things where you are. And he tells you you're the only good person, others are wicked and evil. And then he tells you that there is no way you can bring change in this situation. But that information is wrong. Someone who purifies themselves, they become a vessel that is useful to their master wherever they are. Yes, sir. Praise be to Jesus. I'm looking at Joseph. I'm trying to imagine him doing his trolls, going running where he stands. I think that if Joseph uh, cleansed the car, washed the car, his master might have said, this is the first thing I see today. I'm trying to bring it to our today's context. You know, being a houseboy, houseboy. I think he has cleansed the house to the point that his master say, this person is extraordinary. He was working at home, so I think he was sending him to him to go buy things from the home and he will come with good reports of what he had gotten. Thank you. Does it mean anything Not to you? Do you get that? Be faithful even when you're in another person's house. You know, going to work in other people's home doesn't mean that it's a means to enrich yourself. You know, you work in a second company, they move you from one position to another. You don't understand why, but it's just that they don't want you to be close to the funds. You need to make your master prosper. Make your boss prosper because of you. You know, when we are talking about the bosses, even for us, the wives, uh, we mean our husbands. <laughs> Only guys who agree with me. I also agree with that. <laughs> There is a couple, someone asked another. Did you come to do that? 
Beloved, you need to make your master prosper, your boss prosper. Help your boss. Hold the hands of your boss. Pray for your boss. Be useful to your boss. With the wisdom of God. The one Hallelujah. God. I add that. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So Joseph, everything in the house of Joseph. And God himself said, because of Joseph, I'm going to bless uh, this man Potiphar to the extent that you see that Joseph has something. Do you know why we don't clap? It's because we love what we get, not what we give. But I want to tell you one you thing. From today on, you need to change well, your ways. ways. Commit to change. Say, I'm going to make my boss prosper. I'm going to make my bosses prosper. I'm going to make my bosses prosper, my bosses prosper because of God. God. And you see how all the bitterness will go away. You see how all the bad things will go away. Why? Because no one destroys things that they have worked to build. Who understands what I say? <laughs> Jesus say, he who is not with me is against me. The reason why people scatter is because they are not with you. You know, you can never destroy things that you have worked to build. You can never destroy things that you have sweated for. You know, you can't build your home and then you decide to destroy it. it. It means that you haven't invested in that yet. Once you have started investing there, there is no way you can destroy things that you have worked to build. You need to build for your boss. Build for your boss. It's not just women. Even your workplaces. Your bosses, whoever they can be. That is being a Christian. You know? The rest is just being there. Amen. 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 Who say the man? Amen. Who say the man? The rest is lying. You know, uh, go in a company, make that uh, company prosper, and your boss will always appreciate you, even if he doesn't say it because he's proud, but he'll show it. Have you ever seen powerful people going to different <inaudible> meetings in other countries? You know, people who have this reputation. <inaudible> Try to look at the people who go with them. Do you think that they just pay the, the fare and they take people just to go on a plane? They pay for those who came to work. Yes, it's not the truth, but it's not sweet, but you take it because it's the truth. Because those are the ones who contribute to the profit. They are the ones who know how to serve the company and the company goes forward. That's how Joseph lived in Potiphar's house. He got there and stood there. I think he first observed how things were happening in that house. And then he started putting things in order. He started putting things in order. And then things started running. And then Potiphar, where he was, he said, I've never had this kind of rest. Serve your master so that your master might be at peace. Serve your boss and so that your boss might be at rest. And then, uh, you know, try to ease his load. And you know, heaven will remember you. You know, sometimes he will prosper because of you. Say amen. The good hand of God in jail. 
Genèse 39, 20, 23. Uh, let us read uh, Genesis chapter 39, verse 20 to 23. When the good hand of God is with you, it causes you to be loved even before you speak. Have you seen someone going to prison and that person is loved? Like he's, he's a prisoner. Think about that. You know, in jail, being in jail. But even the boss in the prison, he sees you, he you. It's because there is something that is on the forefront. You know, sometimes we say that people are working with the anointing of God. But don't think that it's just for certain people and for others, it's not for them. Just obey God. Obey the laws of God. And you see how God is going to place you in different places He has prepared for you. Yes. Yes. It comes from obeying God. The day you stop that, you know the result will be accordingly. Chapter 39, verse 20 to 23. The Lord will give him favor. The Lord will be with him, giving favor to be accepted. Think that even in the in the jail, in the prison, being there innocent, innocent man. You know, people who cause those people who have good hearts to like you. Say amen. Hmm. Chef of prison, Achimubona, Amujira Humudish. Now control it. Try to think about that place where the no, boss is not controlling. Control. Even in Potiphar's house, Potiphar was not going, doing a background control. Let us talk this in reality. You know that you control every time you don't trust someone. This is the truth I'm speaking. When the Bible says that they were not controlling what they wouldn't go back and see what he was doing, I tell the truth, you can be faithful to the point where God is going to come and control you. Because you have proven that you're faithful. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Because you have proven to be faithful. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Should I say something? Should I say it? You know, here I, I uh, edify the church, I edify homes, uh, youth, different people. You know, always being in your wife's phone. Your husband's phone. Password, saying, yeah, need... What is your password? <laughs> Should I add more? your <laughs> perfume. That perfume of yours. Where is it from? You do those things because you don't trust someone. That's the reason why. When the husband, uh, the wife is suspicious, he should never ask the wife to trust him when he hasn't been proven trustworthy and vice versa. Same thing for the wife. You know, you wife, if uh, the, the husband is suspicious, you know, you need to be trustworthy. Show that you're faithful. Otherwise, there is no way they are not going to be suspicious. The phone. Pastor, this is the one who is writing those messages, you know, phones. Why do you keep taking my phone? This was not planned. It was not part of the sermon. But let us say it all. Trust. I want to tell you. You know, you, there will always be control for the husband, for the wife, every time that person is not faithful. 
You know, Joseph got to the point where they trusted him and they wouldn't control anything. I know that you understand that and you know it, uh, you know. You know, someone can be really faithful. They prove themselves to be faithful to the point where you no longer want to prove anything. Let us laugh again. Because we are, this is the word of God we are speaking. This is the truth. Amen. Yes, Hashim. Praise God to Jesus. No control. They knew that Joseph will do it right. Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Jesus. I'm almost I'm coming to the end. So being faithful in your gifts. Genesis 41, 14, Genesis 41 verse 14 I tell you that's why you need to know the gift you have. If you don't know the spiritual gift you have, it's okay, but you still need to know the gift that you have. You need to know the experience you have, the qualifications you have. It's going to speak for you, it's going to sustain you. Let me repeat this. If you know how to do carpentry, if you know how to wash clothes, if you know how to iron clothes, and you know that uh, though you didn't go to school, but there, one, there is one thing you know you can iron very well. There is a God in heaven who knows that you can iron. I tell you that that is going to sustain you. Be faithful in whatever good thing you have. Here we are speaking about the gifts from God. Let us read. When the Pharaoh saw in English, read from 14 to 16. Let us continue. Uh, let me tell you. You know, one God wants to bring deliverance, he first brings a problem. There is a saying in French that uh, the, the problems of others are the good things for others. You know that problems for some can become your, your blessing. And you're not the cause of their problems. You know that Joseph, after God has planned how he's going to take him out of prison, he calls two men to be unfaithful or to rebellious to the king. And then they found him in jail. When they found him in jail, one day they had this dream, and when they had a dream, they had no one to interpret their dream. And Joseph said, why are you afraid to say your dream? Because God is the one who has the interpretation of it. And then he gave them the explanation of their dreams. He said, for you, the king is going to summon you and take you back to your job. And for you, he's going to summon you and he'll hang you on a tree. And that's how it happened, literally. One day, the king had a dream. That man, he said, oh king, do not be afraid. Let me remind you my sin. He said, do you remember when you took me to jail? He said, I found there a captive guy. And he said, he knew how to interpret dreams. And the way he inter interpreted our dreams, you know that you play, go, took me back to my job. And you remember that he, you hung the other one. He said, that is the interpretation he had given to both of us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, God is planning how Joseph is going to come out of prison. Because the plan of God or the word of God is not going to be confined in prison. It's not possible. You know, I love the word of God so much. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Oh, we man, it will, it will so God was busy doing all the transaction of how Joseph is going to come out. The Bible says that he's going to give armies for you. But you shouldn't be the one to kill those armies. It is God who does that. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. So they want and they called Joseph. Joseph, Joseph, you want to Pharaoh's house? And Pharaoh told him the reason why to, you're, you're out of prison is you forgiven, but you're needed here. You're needed here. They told me that you can give explanation to dreams. And now I had a dream. I love Joseph. Joseph had the spirit of God in him. Joseph, Joseph didn't say, you know, interpreting dreams, that's my speciality. That's my you know, there are people who have gifts and they will say, beside me, you know, no one else. You know, you'll never find someone else. Joseph Joseph said, no, yeah. What if they will think that I am the one? Say there is something I can do by the grace of God. No, When you do business and you're successful, say by the grace of God I can do this. Whatever you do and you're successful at it, give all the glory to God. You know, mention God in that. Because whether you like it or not, He is the one who enables you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Joseph Joseph said there is a God who uh, gives explanations of dreams. Let me Joseph So Joseph, he gave that explanation. That gift he had is the one that delivered him. I want to tell you. Be faithful in what you have. Be faithful in that thing that you received. If you are a teacher, the Bible says, the one who prophesied, and he received that, he should, he should uh, prophesy as the measure of faith to him is. The one who teaches, the one who exalts, let them do it with zeal. The one who gives, let him give generously. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. There is something else they say. Let me read it from the Say because we are we are parts of one body. Everything. Do it with zeal because you have it. Yes, Ashim. Praise be to Jesus. You never know how that thing is going to help you. That's the reason why. You should never make up things. Let your gifts sustain you. Let God use your gifts to sustain you. The, give, the king has placed him over everything in the kingdom. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. That is Romans chapter 12, verse 7. Verse 7. The good hand of God is the one that caused Pharaoh to know that this young man had, has God. Now, uh, Genesis 41, verse 37 to 43, goes with the Pharaoh say, I'm giving you the whole land. Joseph uh, we conclude seeing how Joseph was a faithful person to his father. And he became faithful to his brothers. He became faithful in Potiphar's house. He became faithful in prison. And we see Joseph uh, being handed over the authority over the nation. Isn't that good? The good hand of God will take you anywhere. I tell you, be faithful and the good hand of God will take you to places. Let us read that and then we'll pray. Those who are English read. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
umuntu umeze nkuyu uri mu mwoka w'Imana haleluya mirongo ine ngo haye gutwara urugo rwanje kandi abantu banje bose bazumvira icyo tegetse ku ntebe yanje y'ubwami yo nyine nzagusumba fara wabwira Yosefu ati dore nkweguri igihugu cya Egiputa cyose farawo yiya muri meta ikimenyetso kisezerano iri wo ikimenyetso yo kurutoki rwe ayambika Yosefu kurutoki amwambika imyenda y'ibitare byiza amwambika no bukufi wiza habu mwijose amugendeshereza mwigare rikurikiririrye bakajya bamuranga nabati nimo mupfukamire nuko amwe guri igihugu cya Egiputa cyose mpera Yesu Kristo amazi I want to tell you from the time you get saved, be faithful. Listen to the instructions of God. Be careful about what God has said. And go away from the things that God has said. And then you see how God will open doors, not the doors that you forced to open. You know, children of God, you can be really good at forcing doors. But the doors that God opens, you will see God opening doors for you because of the good hand that is on you. It's only possible when you have Jesus. It's only possible when you have Jesus Christ. It's only possible because Jesus lives in you. That tree of life, it's only possible then. Those who have Jesus in their lives, if you have been forgiven of your sins, those since you know and those you're not aware of, the things you did purposely, the ones you did, there is God who gave Jesus so that you might be forgiven, so that you might receive mercy, so that you might be forgiven, so that you might, be forgiven so that, you might be forgiven that you might enter into the family of God. Are you here? I'd like to pray for you. Anyone who has not yet given their lives to Jesus, you feel that you have not yet invited God to, live in you, to dwell in you, to walk in you, to walk with you even in jail, in the dark pit with him, with him, to take you out because you're with him, to take you to your highest seat because you're with him. If you're here, just raise your hand and I'll pray for you. Yes, God bless you. God bless you. Anyone who has not yet invited Jesus in their lives, we have it. Do we all have him? May God bless us if we all have Jesus as our Lord and Savior. Please go to Pastor Eddie. You who have raised your hand. Pastor Eddie, he's there. Uh, you go to him at the end of the service. And he's going to pray for you. Now, uh, for the rest of you, please stand up. We're going to speak to God. And ask him that his good hand might be on us. The Lord told Moses. The Lord told Moses. Uh, be careful about the angel who walk with you in the journey because he might not bear with your sins. The God who walks with you, the God who walks with us, he will always be with us. And he's the one who is called his good hand. He's going to advise you all along the journey. He's going to teach you. And he teaches us things for our own benefit. He's going to teach you all along the journey. He will help you to take things away, those things that cause He's you to go away. He will help you so that His good hand on you will be fruitful. Uh, he wants the good He has in, for your life to be fulfilled. God wants you to be green and to uh, prosper and to walk into His plan. The Word of God says that nothing can disturb the plans of God in your 
life. I know that you are almighty and nothing can ever disturb your plans. Place your hand on your heart. I'm going to pray for you. Yes, praying for myself too. That the good hand of God we might not be a hindrance to it. That you might not stop it from working. That you might accept the leadership of the Spirit. The good hand of God we have seen that it's the laws of God and God will be just nearby and he will protect you there. Mukunda <laughs> Yosefu yitandukanije ningeso mbi za benese Ibyo byose mwami wabana ndasenga nguyo munsi umwoka wa ukora ibyo akanguke muri mwene data amushobaze kwitandukanya nibibi amuhe kumvira amategeko n'amabwiriza y'Imana kugira ngo ibyo wamuvuze ho bisohore mwami Imana ishobora byose ndasenga ngo nababa banyura mu nzira ziruhije abanyura mu bihe biruhije Ibihe byibushomeri ibihe byo kumvikana guke mu mago ibihe byo kubura amafaranga y'iki niki ibihe mwami imana byuko abantu batabumva ibihe wenda byuko aho bari mwami babayeho nabi ibihe by'amashura ruhanije ibihe mwami biruhije mu buryo butandukanye ndagusaba ngo akaboko keza kawe ushobaze bene data kukiringira bizere kuhari Amaso yabo ye kureba mwami kubiruhanije nkuko Yosefu umwuka wawe mwiza watumye atabona abamugirira nabe ntabwo yigeze yitaho umwobo yarimo buri hantu hose warajuro hamuvana ndasenga mu izina rya Yesu nguko bako kwa kwiza kuvane bene data mu bizazane barimo mu byago barimo mwami mu bintu bibaruhije banyuramo ubavane mu mwami ubakure mu mwizina rya we ryera turemera ubuhamya turemera ibihe bishya mu izina rya Yesu Kristo babone mwami imana bava muri chapitre ishaje bafungurirwa indi fungura amateka mashyamana shobaza bene data kwibonera ukubako kwa we gutembera imbere yawe Mwami yobu yaravuze ngo ubundi nari narakumvise bakuvu ariko noneho nange ndakwiboneye Mwami ndasenga ngo imigambi yawe ku buzima bwacu Mwami isugire ibeho Mwami mani igaragare ikore ivuge ikore igaragare mu izina rya Yesu ndasenga mana ngo munsi ushaka kutwicaza kuri ya ntebe mwami intebe intebe nkiriya wicajeho Yosefu yahakomeye tutigeze dutekereza ko tuzagera Mwamu kabikora kuko ariko mu migambi yawe byari bimeze reka tuzahore twibuka ngo ni wowe nkuko Yosefu yavuze aterega kurotora inzozi sivyanje ahubwo hari imana ibikora mwamu zaje horo twibutsa guhicyubahira izina ryawe guhicyubahira kwa kuboko kwa tubayeho kandi mwami kwa kuboko kwiza kwatumye dukora neza ushimwe kukubyumva witeguye no kutugirira neza birenze ibyo tugusaba nibitu vuga Kubwicyubahiro kizina ryawe ryera vuga ngo amen